Welcome to Rover YouTube channel. So today I am going to explain you how to create a automate letter template using Microsoft Access. So actually this is very easy for your day to day office activities. So here I have created a, what we call the sample letter format. Actually this is a service letter given to a, a employee who worked the company so this will uh, from this video I'll step by step show you how to create automate service letter template so basically I have designed my report so here this is the header part and this is the company address and this is the sorry, company name and this is the company address and this is the function for textbox for current date so this shows the current date and this is the detail part of my report so here I have uh, created or I have typed sample uh, service letter format in this uh, Microsoft Access report so here this is the footer where all the uh, contact details includes under the footer so i want to before go to the video do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos like this okay let's go to the video so here so i am going to close this sample i mean report format here then to do this i want to create a table now i am going to create a table click on the create tab then click on the table then you can give a desired name for your table so here my name is tbl employee this is my table name so now i am going to design my table then click on this view then go to design view now this one id part is for the employee id so i want to i don't want to rename the uh, field name for the first one for the id and I want to change the data type to number. Then the second one is employee name. In short, I type EMP name. Then EMP, I just say the position. Then appointment date. Then assign the date. Now save the table. So this is the basic setup of my table table. So uh, go to the what we call the data sheet view. Then add a sample data. Employee name and the position. Let's say now this is the appointment date. So Let's say appointment date is 2020 August 2 and the uh, resign date is this one. Now I want to add another record. Now just say the appointment date is, date is 2018 and the resign date is 2018. Like now I entered sample data from my table. I want to replace the details. Now close. So based on the table, based on this table, I want to create a uh, form. Click on the create tab. Then go to form wizard. Then we, uh, from this available field, select all the fields. Then press next button. Next button. Then give a desired uh, name for your form. So my form name is 
e fare employee now uh, my other task is i want to create a query based on my table so click on the create tab then select query design uh, select your table then uh, i want to add these fields employment id so the employment name employment position appointment date and uh, resign date now then i want to rename my query as uri uh, employee right now let's run the query uh, my query is like this now close all the things now our table is okay then the related query is okay and the uh, data entry form is okay now both these three things are okay now what you should do is now you have to go to the uh, report option now double click sorry right click and go to design view so you have to click this corner button so there you have to change the uh, record source so here my record source is query employee qr employee so then after that i want to place uh, what we call the text boxes so in this case this is to certify that so here i want to add a text box for this uh, employee's name comes here then i want to uh, remove the so what we call the uh, i want to change the font size to 12 12 and uh, Then here you need to uh, select the control source so here you have to select employee name as control source for this uh, text box now i want i don't want to uh, what we call the border border for my uh, text box therefore that border color right now you can adjust your text box like this then, uh, then i need another uh, text box I, I copy and paste the same one so here you need to select employment appointment date as as employee as employee appointment date then and paste same text box and keep it or place it here and change it to uh, resign you have to uh, assign resign date here right now finally you need to add the employee position to add a employee position, you need a you need to keep a text you need to keep a text box here. So here the control source is employee position. So if you uh, place all text boxes, you can go to the layout view and you can uh, arrange your uh, text text box settings uh, accordingly like this now save now save it now like it is like this now you see i have 
I have placed the several text boxes under the relevant uh, spaces. Now, if you go design view, you can see my uh, text boxes. I placed three text boxes in these individual locations. Now, uh, and also I changed the control source of these uh, text boxes. Now, how to generate a unique? I mean, how to generate uh, custom service data based on the employment ID? So do do that. What you should do is you have to close this one and open your query and go to design view. So under the criteria, under the ID column, under the criteria option, uh, you have to do a take something like that. Please enter. Please enter employee ID. Now close the brackets now just run so here once i run it asks my employee id i am going to give uh, thousand as my employee id once i double click once i double click on the report it asks employee id so thousand one hundred is a employment id i have given earlier so likewise you can uh, create service letter template like this so I want to add a button for my form, go to the FRM employee and go to design view, then place a button here. So here I want to, under the report operation, I want to preview report. I want to preview my report. Now I added my button. So now let's go to the form view. Now once you are in form view uh, in FR employee form, then just click on this preview report. Once you click on the preview report, it asks employee ID, then 1002 is the second record ID, employee ID, then press OK. So once I click on that, then you can see uh, my uh, second report, sorry, my the element report is open. Uh, like this so uh, you can ar uh, arrange further I mean you can arrange these settings further as you wish okay. likewise you can adjust your templates like this now let's say I want to uh, view another service data 1001 press ok now you can see uh, my uh, template is created according to the database details so this is how uh, you can create custom service data template or automate custom data template using Microsoft Access so that is it for today if you need further clarifications regarding my project please put a comment under video comment section so that is it for today please do not forget to subscribe my uh, YouTube channel for more videos like this.